Okay, the first thing you'll notice with this toaster is when you come up to it, there is not really anything on the face of the toaster. Um, all you'll see is that on off right there. So very cool, nice look. And you can see lots of stainless steel in here as well. When you touch the on off, everything illuminates. And I think on my phone, it may look like it's blinking, but it's actually not blinking. It's, yeah, there we go. No, it doesn't look like it is. Anyway, um, so very cool touch, to uh, touch controls. The darkness, you can set on each one of the sides, which is pretty cool to be able to set the darkness independently on each side. And you just touch what you want. If you want that to be five for darkness or four for darkness, you do that. And it's very soft touch. There's no buttons on here. This is all just um, touch controls. And you can see there's some other settings on there as well. Um, let me okay, show you something so cool. When you press this down, what you see is that, see a blinking there? That blinking indicator? As time expires and it gets closer to popping up, you'll see that go down. So it's kind of like an hourglass where you can see the sand going out of the outer hourglass. Um, that's what happens here. And then when it totally gets down to the bottom, then it will pop up. So I'll let that work while I continue to show you the rest of the uh, features here. So um, if you want to cancel, here, let me start this one over here and I'll just do this one on uh, three. <clears throat> Excuse me, so you can see what it looks like on three and I'll press that down. Okay, and so now that one is working. You can see, again, they're independently operating. If I want this to pop up right now, I just hit the cancel button. And you can see that one popped up. Uh, this one is still going, but you can see that it's down a ways now. Um, like I said, the, the blinking starts getting lower and lower until it finally pops up on its own. Uh, let's see, there are features to add more time. You can see now it looks like it's almost ready to pop up, but I can actually add more time. Like, let me go over to this side, press it down, see that blinking like that. Um, if I add 30 seconds over here, Touch the 30 seconds longer. See, now it's actually got more time. I'll add another 30 seconds. Uh, what happened there? Oh, it's either 30 seconds longer. You can't add 30 seconds more than once, I guess. Um, because if you do, it actually subtracts. It gets rid of the add 30 seconds. So that's either an on or off feature for the add 30 seconds. And you can see this side's about ready to pop up now because it's just barely blinking down on the bottom. So that should be popping up any second. Uh, it toasts great. I don't have any bread in here right now, but you can see the, uh, the glowing red uh, inside of there as it's uh, toasting. I love it. It's really the coolest toaster I think you could ever own. Um, I never expected this from a toaster. So let's just watch that pop up so you can see how that works. Um, it's just about out of time because you can see there's barely any flashing there on the right hand side. And any second now, there we go. And it just popped up, okay? And you can see this side is just about out of time too. It'll be popping up momentarily. Let me show you the back crumb trays. Um, they're down here, very easy to pull out of the back, and you can see I've been making lots of toast, so but that was nice and easy to empty. Just slide that back in, and it looks like this other side is about ready to finish here too. Oh, there, no, not quite yet. It will be any second. And that's pretty much it. Um, when it's not in operation, it's very cool because it uh, it just it's very high tech there. That one popped up. And now if I press the power on off, you'll see everything goes dark. So very cool toaster. I think you'll love it. Give it a shot. Hopefully you'll love it as much as I do.